are here to raise money for an amazing foundation called United Against Poverty that's local here in Orlando. Um, we've got a lot of different people that we work with and it's an amazing day, like you said. We have a number of whole sponsors as well as our lunch and dinner sponsors. Great community uh, outreach. You know, we have over 90 players out playing around and the sponsorships have been amazing and more than we could ask for. So I'm Eric Gray, I serve as Executive Director at United Against Poverty, the charitable organization that's benefiting from today's event. And we're at the Rosen Shingle Creek uh, Resort Course here in beautiful Orlando, Florida. Um, just very near iDrive and all of the attractions. Um, and it's just a beautiful day. We've, we've timed this event uh, so perfectly. It's right before it starts to get brutally hot in Florida. So today was a really nice day, bright and sunny, and you just couldn't have asked for better. It was great. You know, our, our charitable organization serves a lot of people, but we're not at such a size with our staff that we could really pull off running an event like this as a fundraiser ourselves. And that Integrated Physical Medicine was willing to do this for us is a tremendous uh, benefit to the organization. Everybody was so nice to come up to us and talk about what we do. You know, there was a lot of interest in just, you know, tell me a little bit more. Um, many of the folks here, you know, knew a lot about us, but, but still were interested in getting down to the details and, you know, how they can help and how they can be involved. That was a great time. We had fun on Friday. Um, got to spread the word about UP to a lot of guys that didn't know about it. So, yeah, we had fun, but the real message was, like, there's something beyond this have a good time but um, I you know, hope they all go volunteer down there and see what's really going on with Orlando. Well I think it's important for people to meet other people who also support it and and you get to learn about them and why they support it and everyone has their own unique uh, reasons uh, and they all might be different but I think it's great for us to get together and you know and support a, a common belief and cause and uh, and help it grow and spread the word. And I think that's uh, from what you know, Dr. Ott and Dr. Schuplein first envisioned uh, was the idea of this event would not only raise money for the organization, um, but it would also allow us to get in front of some people that we might not normally get in front of to help you know, employ some of the people that come to us uh, that are looking for help and maybe get some more volunteers out to the site. You know, coming out here after, after the drop-off, bag drop-off, and seeing all of the carts and everything, it really hit me that this organization's been around for 17 years and no one has ever put on a golf event as a benefit for our organization. The day was a huge success. We had a great turnout of golfers. Everyone enjoyed their rounds and we just had a wonderful prize auction and we were able to raffle off a number of prizes and I'm confident we've raised well over $15,000 at this point. I look forward to doing that final count and we also just uh, were able to auction off a prize package for someone to come back here for over $900 that was an additional prize generously donated. This really takes it a whole nother level because now they've introduced at least another dozen 24 companies to the organization that never had any association with us before. Most importantly, even more important than this being a fundraising event, this is a connection event because we have a lot of families that are looking for assistance as a hand up to get into some living wage employment. And there's a lot of employers that were here today that we've made some great connections with. So I think that's probably gonna be the most significant outcome of today's event is helping a lot of families to really you know, boost their standard of living and get them out of poverty.